We are docked in Passau, the last stop on the Wee Cruise, and you have to see this. The water levels are so low that we have to get on and off the ship from the sun deck. Good morning and welcome to Passau. Behind me you can see everybody getting off the ship. We're going to begin our walking tour. Ama Waterways is docked right next to us, so we've got their guides with the pink and our guides down there with the red. Passau is known as the city of three rivers. It lies at the confluence of the Inn, the Danube, and Ilves. Coming from Amman next door to us. <laughs> There's our room right down there with all the mess. We can wave to everybody else later on. It is the last major German city on the Danube at the border of Austria. Originally a settlement of a Celtic tribe. It was later the site of a Roman fort. In 739, an English Celtic monk founded Passau, the largest city of the Holy Roman Empire for many years. It became an important medieval center for the salt trade called white gold. It was transported from the Alpine salt mines to Paso, where it was processed and sent on. After the major fire that destroyed Paso, everything was built in Italian style. It is freezing out here. What a great idea. They have blankets if you want to sit out here. From 1750, Rococo, Gothic, Rococo, three different churches. That's the west gate. We're actually outside the city walls. We're standing in the cattle market. And he just said something interesting. Hospitals were always built outside the city wall, which made sense when there was a black plague. You drag out the bodies, bring out your dead. Sorry, I always think of Monty Python, one of my favorites. Great hat shop. Now we're in the old town, the Altstadt. Gorgeous bread. And here are my favorite Schnecken. Every single group of people that you see here is off one of the river cruises. That's what's left of the old gate. Gosh, that's pretty with the leaves changing color. There's a river. I think that's the Inn. It's broken finally. The Inn River. Just head that way to Switzerland and Innsbruck. Through Innsbruck got its name. Good old town hall. Gorgeous rat house. No. All the water marks from 1000 to 1842. 1287. It was completed in 1890. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's one of That's the prettiest. Neo-Gothic. One of the prettiest ones that I've seen. And I've seen plenty. I guess it means wild man. A pair of lederhosen. They are not inexpensive. You're talking a minimum of a hundred euro. We're going to go back up this yes. way, aren't we? Okay. Yeah. The old town crowded with Baroque churches and houses is crowded onto a narrow tongue of land separating the Inn and the Danube. Very easy to walk through on your own. There is not terribly much that you must see or do. 
just enjoy the ambience of Passau. There's a shuttle bus that goes up there if you don't want to walk it every half hour. We are heading up strictly for the panoramic view, hopefully the three rivers. From here you can see two of the three. The Danube is the darker blue one, and the Inn, the lighter color. I guess I have to keep walking that away to get to the confluence of all three. From here to the Rathaus. Today is Saturday and many weddings in Passau take place on Saturday. We are right here, but you can't see the confluence because there is a Uniworld ship blocking it. Bad Uniworld. This bird has obviously been eating well. The little ills cuts right in there. And good view of the fortress. We were way up there. If you're not familiar with barges, the people live on board, they usually carry a car or two as they navigate all the rivers, come to the small towns. I don't know, talk about being caught between a rock and a hard place. What a location. Let's say Wiedersehen to Passau. Another AMA boat pulled in. So much traffic on the river. There's the beautiful town hall. And the fortress up there on, on the hill. We're docking alongside Uniworld's Maria Teresa. They move the ships down here because there's no space for the buses to park and Everybody has to offload to depart tomorrow. So that was the whole reason for moving two miles further upstream on the Danube.